Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle to Newton Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to by Dr. Zakir Naik. And this video says that virtues of Masjid al Kesa. And this video was done in a conference in defense of the Bintu Marquis and Masjid di Ekasa. Well, I believe that this one was done in Malaysia and I believe that it's going to be a very interesting video. It shows that he is going to give a lectures and there will be so many questions that they will ask him and he is going to respond to him. Of course, we all know he's a very intelligent man. Of course, he's a scholar. I know that he will answer every question that they ask him. It's Dr. Zakir Naik and you know he always deliver <laughs> just like the man. Alright, so if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, before we get on to the video, I'm a theologian and I need this video not to discredit anyone's religion. This is basically for educational purposes and I believe that at the end of this video, we all are going to learn from it. So guys, let's get on to the video and check this out. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Al-Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 1, Exalted is he who has taken a servant on a journey at night from Masjid al-Haram to Masjid al-Aqsa, whose surroundings we have blessed. To show him our signs, he's seen and he's hearing. Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he has taken Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Masjid al-Haram in Makkah to Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. Where the Prophet, he led the prayers, where all the Prophets were present. And from there the Prophet ascended to the heaven. That is Al-Isra and Al-Miraj. We all know that Al-Aqsa is the third holiest mosque in the world after Masjid Al-Haram and Masjid Al-Nawwi. But the difference between Masjid Al-Aqsa and the other holy mosques is that beside the mosque being holy, the land where Masjid Al-Aqsa is, Asham, itself is blessed. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, Verse number 71, that the land we have blessed for all the worlds, for all the nations. And Allah says this in the Quran in several places that this land is blessed. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 137. Allah said in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 1. Allah said in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 81. Allah said in Surah Sabah, chapter 34, verse number 81. In several places. Allah says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 21. And he called this land as Al Ard Al Muqaddasa, the Holy Land. So Allah says in the Quran several places about the blessings and the holiness of this land. It's mentioned in the Sahih Hadith of Sunan Tirmidhi, volume number 6, Hadith number 3954, where the beloved Prophet Musa said, Tuba for Asham. That means glad tidings for Asham. And the Sahabas asked, that why Ya Rasulullah? So the Prophet replied, that Ar Rahman's angel, they spread their wings over this land. It's further mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number 9, hadith number 7094. The beloved Prophet he prays to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, bestow your blessings on Asham. So you have several Quranic verses in hadith talking of the blessings of Asham. As far as Jerusalem is concerned, it's the holy land. It's the holy city where many prophets they lived. And it is sacred to all the three Abrahamic faiths. The Jews, they pray towards Jerusalem. They pray facing the Wailing Wall, that the Western Wall. And they consider the Al-Aqsa compound, which they call as the Temple Mount, they consider it as sacred. As far as the Christian is concerned, for them the Jerusalem is also a sacred city. 
It's associated with Isa alayhi salam. And in the old city of Jerusalem is the church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Muslims, we call Jerusalem as Al-Quds, as Bayt al-Muqaddas, the Holy House. And it is mentioned in Musnad Ahmad, Hadith number 23090, a beloved Prophet Musa said that at the Jal, that is the Antichrist, he will prevail over the full earth except Masjid al Haram and Masjid al Aqsa. Towards before the end of the world, when the Jal will come, he will prevail over the full world except Masjid al Haram and Masjid al Aqsa. It's mentioned in Muslim Ahmad, Hadith number. 22320 that the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, There will be a group amongst my people, my followers, who will always openly speak the truth, and no one will be able to harm them until the last hour. And the Sahabas asked the Prophet, Where will they be? And the Prophet replies, In Jerusalem. As far as the virtues of Al-Aqsa Mosque is concerned, we all know that the Arabic word Aqsa, it means the furthest. So Al-Aqsa Mosque means the furthest mosque. And as Masjid al-Haram is given the title of Al-Bayt al atiq the old house, Masjid Aqsa is given as al bayt al-Muqaddas, that's the holy house. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 4, hadith number 3366, that Abu Dhar, may Allah be pleased with him, he asked the Prophet, that which was the first mosque built on the earth? And the Prophet replied, Masjid al-Haram. He asked, which mosque was built next? The Prophet said, Masjid Aqsa. So Masjid al-Aqsa was the second mosque built on the face of the earth. The second house of Allah, 40 years after Masjid al-Haram. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 6, hadith number 4492, that Azhar, he says, may Allah be pleased with him, that we Sahabas, along with the Prophet, our Qibla, we face the direction of Masjid Aqsa until the 17th month of Hijri. And then we change to Masjid Haram. So the first Qibla for the Muslim was Masjid Aqsa, up to the 17th month of Hijri. And then it got changed to Masjid Al Haram. And as I mentioned earlier, that Masjid Aqsa is the third holiest mosque on the face of the earth after Masjid al Haram and Masjid al Nabi in Makkah and Medina. It's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, one number one, hadith number 430, that Prophet Muhammad he was transported from Masjid al Haram to Masjid al uh, Masjid al Haram to Masjid Aqsa. That is the night journey. And in Masjid Aqsa, he leads the Salah where all the Prophets were present. All the Prophets were present, and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did the Imamat. Oh, that's a very interesting um, video for some of you that like um, history. At least Dr. Zakir Naik was able to give us the history of the virtues of Majid al Sa. So either of the religion you actually um, believe in, at least like I rightly always see in my channel is that it will be good for you to learn about um, other people's um, religion so that at least when they even ask you, you can be able to at least say something, you understand, about it. And I believe that a lot of you have actually learned from these um, teachings given by Dr. Zakir Naik and not just about, you understand, to the Christians alone, but then also 
to the Jews, to the Muslim themselves, because I, I will not be surprised in a extent to hear that maybe some Muslim may not know about the history of these um, mocks that um, doctors like Kiranai can understand have even preached, which happens to be that is even the second mocks that was even mentioned in the Quran by the Prophet, that's Prophet uh, Muhammad, may peace uh, be upon him. I believe you have learned, and then if there are some certain things in the about these mocks that is not mentioned, I would like you to drop it at the comment section so that we can all learn from one another. So guys, this is the end of my video. If you like my reaction, if you like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section, and I'm going to check it out. Guys, your thoughts and opinion are all welcome at the comment section, and may God bless you as you do so. Amen, and I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.